I've said this at least 100 times here in the last 20 years, but worship is about ascribing worth to God. And when you think of worship, you can just think of worth shipping. Uh, we're shipping worth. We're ascribing worth to God. And so worship is, is just a way of saying, God, here's your worth. Here's your value. Here's what you mean to us. It's ascribing worth to God. Now, the most important thing to know about worship is that it's not just about singing songs. Not, not, not by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, the goal of a disciple should be to make every aspect of our life an act of worship. To have everything that we do ascribe worth to our God. Uh, to put on display the truth that he is uh, first and foremost in our life. Paul says it this way in Romans 12 too. He says, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, in light of how God had mercy on us, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So here Paul is saying everything we do in our bodies is to be uh, a, a sacrifice, uh, something that exalts God. We are to be a kingdom people who live in imitation of Jesus Christ, which is to live self-sacrificially. And so we worship God by the ways that we don't conform to the culture. We worship God by how we spend our money. We worship God by, by, by how we do our thoughts. We worship God by how we treat our neighbors. We worship God by how we respond to, to, to aggressors and to, to gossipers and those who are out to, to do us harm. We are to worship God in every aspect of our life. As I said several weeks ago, the goal of the disciple is to break down the compartments of our life where we have the secular over here and the sacred over here. And, and our, our job is to make it all sacred because, in fact, it is. Because we are in the temple at all times and the temple is in us at all times. We are the temple of God and we're in God and in Christ. And so the goal is to sanctify every moment, to stay awake to, to, to the presence of God at every moment. And insofar as we do that, we are worshiping God. We're ascribing worth to God putting on display the fact that he's first and foremost in our life. So our whole life is to be an act of worship.